Hey, 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 hello everybody and happy bus hello to I like that you are watching this video and everybody who are watching right now, hello everybody, <laughs> so glad to see ya. Yes, uh, today we're gonna learn something from this human body encyclopedia about our whole entire body with our uh, hands, with our fingers, phalanges and our eyes and pillows inside of it and about our ears, air breathing, like uh, breath support our lungs are opened, yes, and our <laughs> diaphragm is working super, super nice, amazing, super. We are started. It's our English lesson with me. Let's start. All wrapped up, skin covers your whole body, it protects you from germs, water, and sunshine, and helps keep your body at the right temperature. Skin covers. Ah, okay, skin covers. The skin on your eyelids, if so this thinnest on your body wow on your wow eyelids like this cool two layers your skin has two main layers the top one the one you can see is called the epidermis underneath is the dermis where there are nerves and blood vessels okay there are flat cells on the surface of your skin there these are made from from a tough material called keratin. When the cells die, they dry out and flake off. Waterproof seal. Skin stops water getting into our body when you have a shower or go far for a swim. It also stops fluids escaping from inside you. Skin cells la lower down replace the dead ones that t flake off. Waterproof seal. Skin stops water getting. Ah, okay. Skin is is a sort of stretchy overcoat. Oh, look at this. L nice pussy. Heavy load. Skin is the heaviest single part of your body. It can weigh as much as a bag of shopping, okay? House uh, dust. Dust is mostly made of dead skin. Dust might feed on mites oh my gosh mites feed on the skin they live in beds pillows and carpets maybe i have some so dust mites aren't really this big they're so small you can see them oh my gosh i maybe have some really some of the dust mites Dust mites, who is need to translate it if we will. Oh my gosh. The th dead skin. Ah, dead skin, okay. The thickest skin on magnified skin flakes. How many dead skin flakes fall off every day? I think 50 gr 500 grams. 10 million, about 10 million. Ah, okay. Sweat, sweat poor, sweat gland. If you uncleared a sweat gland, it could be over a meter, three feet long. Oh, wow. Skin color. The color of your skin is affected by a substance called melanin. The more melanin you have, the darker you will be. When you are outside in the melanin, yes, sniff of melanin. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Oh, yeah, like this. Melanin. Or <laughs> yes, it will be. If we have some of the niba, we have some of the melanin. Gripa, I don't know what is gripa. Biga, biga melanin, niba melanin. Yeah, when you, sorry, it's only joking for um, uh, understanding for understanding language. When you are outside in the sun, your body products extra melanin to protect your skin. The melanin makes your skin darker and you get a suntan. suntan. Your body is on the soles of your feet. Cooling down. When sweat dries on your skin, it helps to cool you down. Sweat comes from s solid tubes under the surface. It gets out through tiny holes called pores. Soggy skin. When you soak... Oh, it's like a daddy. Soggy skin. When you soak in water for a long time, the top layer of your skin gets water logged and wrinkly. I have water glowed and wrinkly skin when I was... Uh, in bath, bath tube, yes, 
do you remember it now because uh, you are uh, wasn't in my in my childhood but i can tell the stories join for itchy stories yes at your fingertips uh, nails work with skin to protect your body they stop you hurting the ends of your fingers and help you to pick things up your fingertips have the most sensitive skin on your body the skin around your joints joints is uh, loose and saggy so we can be bend them easily bend like this arc loop whirl what it means interesting fingertip patterns fingertips are covered with swirly ridges that helps you grip things they are called fingerprints everyone has different fingerprints with different patterns such as arcs loops or whorls whorls loop arc okay sweat leaves almost invisible marks on all surface your touch police use fingertips to help catch criminals criminals okay under a microscope you can see all the folds and flakes of dry dead skin why do you get white spots on your nails on your nails nails because maybe it shows maybe how many we have diseases or maybe it's only like a from the ancestors these spots mean the new nail has been bandaged or knocked ah okay knock down nails grow from a root under your cuticle 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 is this thing cuticle cuticle bone fat Wow, when you look at nail keratin close up, it has lots of lucky layers. Family connection, like humans, birds and animals have body parts that are made of keratin. Clothes look like nails, but they are stronger and sharper. Clothes, yes. Clothes of oh, the beaks are very hard so birds can tear food and crack seeds. Horns contain different kinds of keratin. Arena horns are made of hair keratin. Wow. The inside story. Also, nails are much harder than skin of ha or hair. They are made from the same basic material. It is called keratin. Is oh, nails are much harder than skin. Keratin. Okay. Keratin is thin for our nails. Holding on. It would be difficult to hold heavy things if you didn't have fingernails difficult to hold heavy things because they help to make your fingertips straight and strong the other reason you have fingernails is so you can scratch when you're itchy itchy like a oh itchy itchy ah like a f -f 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 scratch okay nail growth nails start to grow before you burn and they carry on your whole life they grow quicker on your hands than on your feet wow okay because uh, feet uh, feet uh, it uh, are more bigger are bigger skin nails and hair hair grows for up to seven years before it falls out okay hair grows for up to seven years before it falls out grows for up to seven years before it falls out wow seven years and after that they are falling hair is mostly made of fairy fairly hairy like a fairy tale hair is mostly f made of keratin just like skin and nails you have about one one hundred thousand hairs on your head and millions more on your body Hair close up. Each hair is covered with scales that overlap like roof tiles. This makes the hair strong and protects it. Roof tiles. Roof tiles, yes, like this. Protects it. Hair it uh, is dead tissue which is why it doesn't hurt to cut it. Ah, I understand. What's your hair like? Hair grows out of tiny pockets of follies, follicles. The shape of these pockets controls whether hair is straight, wavy or curly. Wavy or curly? I have wavy. Wavy hair. 
like molds, follies, follicles, follicles, what is follic follicle? Follicles. Follicles. Straight hair grows out of straight follicles. Slightly curvy follicles produce wavy stands of hair. Follicles. Need to change follicles to change your. How many hairs do you lose from your head every day? Maybe. Um, One hundred. Head hair. Lots of body head heat escapes from your head. So the hair there is long and thick to keep your brain warm. Fine hairs cover every other part of it, of you except the palms of your hands, soles of your feet and your lips. Okay, fairly hairy. Color chart. Hair, like skin, gets its color from a chemical called melanin. If you have... Hello, Lucy. Yeah, <laughs> a chemical. If you have no melanin in your hair, it will be white. If you have a lots, it will be jet black. Melanin. Melanin should be. Okay, smooth surface. Some men lose their hair as they grow older. In fact, their hair still grows, but it's... It is shorter and falls out more easily. A few people are born without any hair at all, not even a lashes. Eyelashes. Brr. When you're cold, tiny muscles, tiny muscles pull your body hair upright, so it forms a fuzzy layer to keep warmth in, which the muscles pull. They makes little ridges called goose pimples. Pimples. Goose pimple. Goose pimple. Goose pimple. Follis follicles that are very swirly in shape produce tightly curled hair. Good food. In your head is itchy. You may have had lice. These creatures cling, cling to your hair and suck blood from your scalp. Scalp? The skin covering the head. Scalp. 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 When you play with friends, the lice crawl from one head to another. This fuzzy box like clean heads best. About 100. Yes, I was right. About uh, how many hairs do you lose from your head every day? Germs. Fighting disease. Germs. Yes. Viruses spread through the air in cough and sneezes. These viruses give people colds or the flu. Your body is a walking zoo. It's covered with bugs uh, that feed and breed on you, but are mostly too small to see. Many do no harm, but some cold germs make you ill when they get inside you. While viruses. Viruses are the smallest living things on Earth. They break into cells and force them to make new viruses. Viruses can cause colds, flu, measles, mumps and warts. Veruca. A veruca is a wart. It's a patch of thickened skin caused by a virus. The virus often spreads from person to person in places where people walk barefoot, such as swimming pool. Ah, oh, okay. Veruca. What is? The Rucker. What? Vitrianka, что ли? Ah, oh, wow. Because our on clearing airways pages, visiting the doctor pages. Okay, what animal has killed more people than any other? I don't know. What is? The mosquito. Ah, okay. Beastie bacteria. Bacteria are very common germs that often spread by touch. When bacteria get into cuts, they cause swelling and sores. Certain types cause deadly diseases if they get into your stomach or lungs. Your hand leaves bacteria on anything you, you touch. Billions of bacteria. There are more bacteria on your skin than there are people in the world. Most do little harm and some actually protect you from other germs. If you touch rotten food or faces, your hands will pick up more dangerous bacteria. Dangerous bacteria. For king of bacteria. Third worms, phallus mites, mosquitoes. 
Okay, big bugs. Creature but much bigger than bacteria or virus also fit on your body and can make you sick. Giardia. Leaf spreading dirt to water, they cause diarrhea. What is Giardia? Giardia. Giardia. Live in intenseness and spread in dirty water. Giardia. Wow. Thread worms live in the large in intestine and spread on dirty fingers. Thread worms. Follicle, follicle, follicle mites live in their roots of the most people eye flashes and do little harm. Mosquitoes suck people's blood and spread germs that cause deadly diseases. Wow. Fungi. Some germs are fungi related to mushrooms. Stinia ringworm is a type of fungus that grows through skin like a plant sending out long thin shoots. The tinea fungus grows through your skin like a plant sending out long thin shoots. shoots. Body defenses. Poison tears. Okay, let's read to digestive system. Body defenses. Although you can't see them, germs are always landing on your body and trying to get inside it. Your body has lost of clever weight or keeping them out. Germs. What is your largest defensive organ? Skin. Your skin, yes. Sticky business. Germs get into your lungs when you breathe in. They get trapped in a sticky liquid called mucus, which lines your airways. Tiny beating hairs can continually push the mus mucus up to your throat to be swallowed. Ear wax flows slowly out of your ear all the, all the time, flushing out dirt and germs. Poison tears. Germs that land Germs, what is germs? Ah, okay, germs. Germs. Germs that land on your eyes are washed away by tears, which come from glands above your eyes. Tears contain the chemical lysozyme, which kills bacteria by making them burst open. You make about one liter to pints of salvia a day. Say it by split, by speed. The liquid in your mouth is called saliva. Saliva. As well as helping you digest food, saliva protects saliva. Saliva or how to pronounce it? Saliva. 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 Saliva protects your mouth, tongue and teeth from attack by bacteria. Saliva. Exit attack. Glands inside of your stomach make acid, which kills germs you have swallowed. Your digestive system then breaks down the germs along with your food. Become an expert on ice pages or digestive food pages. Slimy guts. The, the inside of your in, intestines and tensin. And intestines are covered with salami mucus, which stops germs from getting into your blood. Your large intestine also contains millions of friendly bacteria, which prevent other germs from growing. Yuck! The feeling of digestive disgust protects you from germs. Anything yuck. Uh, anything that smells revolting or looks horrible is probably full of germs. That just stops you from touching it. Wow, interesting. Fighting germs. Antibodies, antibodies attacks germs. Fighting germs. If germs break through your outer defenses and invade 
your tissues, your body fights back. The cells of your immune system hunt and destroy germs. This system also remembers germs and protects you from them in the future. Antibodies. Some white blood cells make chemicals called antibodies. These stick to the surface of germs, telling other body cells to attack. Antibody. This germ is being swallowed. Killer cells. White blood cells called macrophages kill germs by swallowing them. When a macro macrophage finds a germ, it uh, stretches out ropes around the germ and pulls it inside. Digestive juices then destroy it. This white blood cell is called a macrophage. Heating up. Your body gets hotter when it's, it fights germs which gives you a high temperature. How many tonsils are in your throat? Tonsils? What is tonsils? Tonsils. Tonsils? I don't know what is tonsils. Tonsils. Maybe two? Two main ones and four smaller ones. Okay. Lymph system. Fluid con continually leaks out of your blood vessels and tissue. It returns to the blood through tubes called lymph vessels. Dotted along these are swelling called nodes which filter our ger out germs. Extra protection. Doctors protect you from germs with vaccines. Vaccines contain weak or dead germs that your immune system learns to attack. If the real germ ever gets inside you, your immune system remembers it and attacks very quickly. Okay, the swellings in lymph vessels are called lymph nodes. Lymph nodes. The swelling. Swelling. What is swelling? Whoa. Tonsils. At the back of your mouth are several pouches of tissue called tonsils. They are full of white blood cells. Blood cells that fight germs in your throat. However, the tonsils sometimes fill with germs themselves and ha have to be removed. Killer milk. Breast milk contains germ-killing antibodies that protect babies from disease. During the first few days of a baby's life, the mother makes a special meal called colostrum, which is uh, packed with antibodies. Allergies. And uh, we will learn more about uh, allergies. Let's learn it. Allergies right now. What did we learn? We learned about our uh, germs, germs about else our skin, about some small bugs inside of our skin, else about uh, hair, keratin, and that's all. I don't remember more. We will learn again. Allergens. A substance that triggers an allergy is called an allergen. Wasp strings can kill people who are allergic to them. Wow. Antibiotic medicines can give allergic people a rash on the skin. Can give allergic people a rash on the skin. Hair and skin from pets can cause an allergy very similar to a hay fever. Mouths grow in damp places. Their powdery spores can cause asthma. Mouths. Mouths, what is? Mouths. Mouths. Biological washing powder can cause a skin reaction. An allergy happens when your body mistakes a harmless substance for a germ and overreacts to it. Food, plants, dust, pets and many other substances can cause allergies. Who gets allergies? If you grow up in a large family or an... 
One moment. Need to improve our eye vision. Family or on a farm, your immune system will get lots of practice against germs. Some experts think, think this makes you less likely to get allergies. Dust mites are related to spiders and have eye dust mites. Dust mites, uh, okay, are related to spiders and have eight legs. Mouth, wow. Dust mites, millions of these tiny beasts, which are smaller than full stops, live in your home. Their feet on dead skin, their microscopic faces are a major cause of asthma. Their microscope faces, faces, with five faces, feces, feces. Ah, oh, okay. What's the most common type of an allergy? Asthma. What is? Hay fever. Hay fever. Hay fever. Skin allergies. Poison ivy. Hay fever, what is? Hay fever. Allergic rinse, also known as hay fever, is a type of inflammation in the nose which occurs when the immune system react to allergy in the air. Signs and the symptoms include a rainy study nose, sneezing, red, itchy, symptoms, stuffy nose, sneezing, based on symptoms, asthma, allergic, hay fever, polynoidus. Allergic rinitz. Okay, skin allergies. If you touch a thing you are allergic to, each red spot may appear on your skin. Poison, ivy plants, make up jewelry and clothes can cause skin allergies. Skin allergies cause each red spots that can look just like a nettle rash. Poison, ivy. Poison, ivy, what is? Poison, ivy. Poison, ivy. Pollen. A very common cause of allergy is powdery, just called pollen, which is made by flowers. Pollen floats through the air and enters our body as we breathe. Pollen. It is... Pollen. Pollen. Okay. Food allergies. Foods that cause allergies include strawberries, 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 nuts, seafood and eggs. This can give an allergic person a skin rash, a runny nose, a sore mouth, nausea and diarrhea. Peanuts can be deadly to people with a nut allergy. Wow. I have one friend, girlfriend with this, with uh, nut allergy. Hay fever. I remember how I tried to... to um, Suggest, suggest one piece of the chocolate with uh, <laughs> with nuts. Hay fever. People who are allergic to pollen ha pollen have uh, hay fever. When they breathe in lots of pollen, their nose run, noses run, and their eyes get sore. Hay fever, fever. It's uh, worst in spring and summer when grass girl flowers release lots of pollen into the air. Hay fever can make your eyes swollen, waterly, watery and red. Inhaler squirt out medicine is in a spray helping people with asthma to breathe. Inhaler squirt out asthma. People with asthma can find it hard to breathe. Their chest feels tight and their breathing becomes wheezy. Asthma can be caused by an allergy to dust mites, cat hairs or other substances in air. Digestive system food is made up of allergic. We will learn in the next time. What did we learn? We did learn about allergies like asthma, about pollen. Pollen is... or how to say, Pollen, yes, pollen. Else about uh, poison... Ivy. Pollen. Poison. 
Ivy, Ivy, yes. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. About uh, dust mites, allergies, about lymph system, killer anti antibodies, fighting germs, also about our illnesses, poison, tears, uh, reason why we have uh, tears, beast bacteria, big bugs, fungi, billions of bacteria, about uh, wild viruses, uh, goose uh, pimple on, on our skin, fairly hairly, about our fingers, fingertips, fingerprints, and also finger, uh, and uh, also one more thing is cuticula, cuticle, cuticle, and our finger nails. Super, I think it, it is good job, if you are, if you are, think so, thank so much for watching see you next time if you don't think so leave in the comment section and thanks so much for everybody who was watching it was good productive 3 30 minutes of learning english with it with our encyclopedia and uh, did you know that if you will learn more and more with encyclopedia you will be smarter if you are native it will increase your vocabulary too because maybe you don't know some of the words or maybe you are f you forgot it from your from your childhood when you <laughs> did learn it but now you can uh, remember it you can uh, refresh your memory you will be cool you will be nice so don't forget about it and uh, you will increase your vocabulary you will improve your english bye bye